Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel where I like to share any and all things that bring me joy, hence the name Share Elation. Today's video, I wanted to feature some bags that I purchased when I would travel to Florence, Italy. This was back in uh, 2014. It's been quite a number of years since I've been able to travel due to the pandemic, although I did go to London um, just a month or so ago, but Italy was one of the, the most memorable trips that I had with my husband because we were celebrating our wedding anniversary and we decided to go to Italy. Uh, we made stops to Rome, um, Milan, Venice, Florence, and uh, yeah, and then we came back. And so in Florence, we did a lot of walking and shopping. And if you've been to Florence before, you would have seen many different shops there, and some of which specialized in leather goods. And one shop that I saw and I came across was a place called um, uh, Rive Gauche. I may be butchering the name, but I will show the, the brand right here. It is... This is the, the brand of the store. I will, I found the website of the store. It's a local like shop that specializes in leather goods. So here's the name, Rive Gauche Firenze. I do not speak Italian, so I hope I didn't butcher that. And I walked in and they, they made shoes and uh, of course leather bags. Um, I purchased this small crossbody bag directly at the store. And I loved this one so much, I purchased two others um, by uh, contacting, contacting them online and had them ship, ship the, the these two bigger bags to me. So I'll go through that in a moment. So this one, uh, they don't really have really special names for them, but it's just a small crossbody messenger style bag. Um, it This has been used, you can tell, very worn and loved. The leather is so soft. It gets softer as I use it more and more. Uh, it's just this cognac color. You can see there's some color transfer here from wearing jeans and things like that. They, I think I can clean it with leather cleaner, but I just haven't done it yet. And um, all of the leathers are pretty much the you know this classic um, brown cognac color. I think they have bags in black, but I think I really liked this particular color because it was like the natural leather color. And um, I wanted to give this a shot because it was just, you know, it was handmade. It, it was beautiful. The leather, it was, is very, very durable. It's very thick. You can see it's, um, it has a good amount of weight to it. I did bring my scale out so we can weigh each bag later just to give you uh, some frame of reference and it's a very simple construction you know two magnetic snap closures and inside um, it's just one big pocket with a small compartment in the back zipper closure the zipper is very smooth it's a YKK zipper and it has their logo here and inside is the suede lining so it's all leather completely leather even I think inside the pocket too, yeah. This one is, the, the pocket here is like a microfiber material, but this is the only non-leather piece. And it just has this kind of snap, um, like button, I, it, it's not removable. It's like a button or, or what they use to secure the strap. So it's very simple. And I actually really love using this bag. I still use it a lot. And this is such a carefree bag. The leather has held up and as, as the bag ages, I think the leather gets softer and softer. I do not have to worry about this bag getting scratched. Even if it does get scratched, you can see this bigger one, it does get scratched. It, I feel like it just gives a nice age to the leather. I wore worn this in uh, hot summer months, cold winters, rain, sleet, and snow, no problem at all. I just wiped uh, the leather clean and I really never did anything to this bag, um, try to condition it or anything. I have tried to remove some of the, 
the the color transfer which has come off a little bit but then it has since came back but this is the back of the bag and you can see look how shiny it is over here it's very very smooth um, so I'll just do a very quick of like what fits in this bag I tried looking at the website as it stands today just to see um, to give you direct links to the bag itself but for some reason they don't offer the bags anymore at least it's not on their website they only offer their shoes i have not purchased shoes from them but i can imagine because it's the same leather it's probably very comfortable and i'm somewhat tempted but i'm always afraid to purchase shoes that i haven't tried on in person and especially it's coming all the way from italy it will be difficult to return so i probably won't do that maybe if i ever go back one day but I, I will provide the link to their website down below. And it is it is that actual store, I recognize it. Um, for some reason, just the, the only products available online are their shoes. You may be able to email them directly because when I purchased these two bigger bags, I emailed a woman and her name is Shelly. She responded to me, very easy to work with. Um, she gave me quotes for the shipping to ship the bags, these two bigger bags to the US and I got them with no problem and I'll talk about that in a second. So I just wanted to show here everything that I typically carry and everything fits without a problem. It's snap closure, like magnetic closure and I, you can see here I even have room to spare. So it's a very much a very convenient little size. I'll measure the, the bag and provide that down below but I wanted to show this to you here. And the strap is very generous. Um, there are several holes that allow you to adjust the, the length of the bag. I have shortened it, like I've worn it shorter and longer, which is why there's this marking here from uh, this particular uh, buckle. And what's it say? I can't tell what it says, but it's a very, ah, oh, Okay, let me take this off. I see something on the buckle, which I wanted to show you here. So if I remove this, it says, Made in Italy, solid brass. You can see it uh, right on the this, this piece here. So it is very, very durable. No need to worry about any of this. And it's kind of my go-to bag when the weather is not so great outside because I really don't have to worry about it. So this is that little crossbody bag that I purchased in person in Italy. And like I said before, because I enjoyed using this so much, like I really enjoyed the quality, the leather, you can see the stitching is perfect and it's handmade. Um, I, I decided to look on their website because I remembered seeing other bags and I thought I could try and get more. Uh, I forgot the price of that particular smaller bag. I feel like I paid 149 euros for it. Don't quote me because I can't really remember the exact price, but I do have the prices of these two bags that I purchased uh, a little while later after my trip. So I'll talk about that in a second as well. So these two I purchased online by contacting the store directly through email. They had these um, listed on their website and there were pictures on it so that's how I chose this so this is a big bucket bag you can see it just has like this wave like simple wave kind of design wavy design uh, the front and the back are the same no pockets outside the strap is adjustable I put it at the shortest setting and the top of the the strap is just you know a simple like hobo style bucket bag you can see this is the strap same leather as the other one inside the construction is very simple as well just a big compartment big black well big dark brown hole and this is like a microfiber cloth as well very soft kind of similar to like the louis vuitton microfiber and you can see their brand here again and there's just a zip um, like a zippy zip compartment against the back of the bag. So this is really it. This fits so much. 
I'm not even going to try and pack it to the fullest because I don't even really carry a whole lot anymore. But just to give you a quick reference, I have a notebook here that I use for work. It is, what's the size of this thing? Let's see. It is eight and three quarters by eight and one quarter size notebook. And if I put it in here, just to show you how big this bag is. So it, it fits very comfortably with room to spare in terms of the height. And I can probably lay it across as well. Yeah, no problem. So this gives you just an idea right that the size of this bag it's big it's really big and very roomy like i said the the, the size of the notebook is I'll just show you here again uh eight and three quarters by eight and a quarter okay so that's this bag and this bag uh let me check my notes really quick on the website at that time when I purchased this, I think I purchased this, uh, I'll check back in my email, but I think it was purchased in 2016 because like I said, after my 2014 visit, I really liked the smaller bag so much. Um, I it, it took me, you know, I, I used it for a long time, a good year and a half, two years, and then decided to email them to get two other bags. So this this bucket style bag is called the Mod Borsa 2. And at that time when I purchased it, it was 179 euros. So keep in mind, this was around 2016, 179 euros. I don't know if the pricing is the same because they don't have it on the website anymore, but this is what I paid at that time. Then I also, at the same time, at, uh, during the same purchase when I emailed, um, that woman Shelly back and forth, I purchased this tote bag. So this tote bag, let me move this aside. This tote bag is also really big. It is called, it is called, let's see, the Mod Borsa Shopping Grand or Grande. And this was priced at 199 euros. So again, uh, same material, the construction is very simple. It's just a plain tote. So the front and the back are the same with no pockets outside of the bag. <laughs> you can see it. I have used this quite a bit as well and it's kind of scratched up, but I think it gives a little character to the bag. Now the inside of the bag is just very simple. Uh, zipper compartment at the back of the bag and the front here has this slip compartment no zipper just a slip compartment here and it's a very beautiful microfiber lining as well this is a little bit lighter than the other uh, the bucket bag uh, let's just flip it around for you to see and just for size reference again i'm putting the same notebook here and height wise it's about the same as the bucket bag if I can show this better yeah so height wise it's about the same as the other one uh, but of course capacity is a lot bigger I put it on the side no problem it can fit as well so just to let you know that that's kind of what it fits in terms of the notebook um, since that had a specific measurement. I will try to measure this as well because uh, it, it is like more of like a trapezoid shape. And I have to admit, I don't use this a lot because I, again, I don't have a whole lot to carry. And I use this a lot when we go on road trips. Um, when we're driving like, you know, to another state or just any kind of road trip and I need to pack stuff for my family, I would use this bag to put like toiletries, chargers, cables, um, power banks, just kind of smaller items and, and that can easily like spill or, you know, it's difficult to find as opposed to putting it um, in a, 
in a suitcase. So the suitcase, I usually just keep like the shoes and, and the clothes there. So this is just road trip only. Uh, I'm sure I can use this on the plane, but it is kind of heavy. And I didn't think I, I, I don't want to carry something that heavy going on and off a plane and carrying it on my shoulder. And let me explain why. So let's weigh these bags just for you to see um, how much each one weighs. So here's my scale. Let's weigh this, uh, the, the tote first. So the tote comes in at two pounds, 3.2 ounces, or if I flip it to, oops. going to change the mode to kilograms. Yeah. Kg is 0.99 kg. So it is it does have a pretty substantial weight to it. For me it, it is kind of on the heavier side, which is why I don't really carry this a lot regularly. Um, and you can imagine this is empty. So if you pack things in it, it gets even heavier. So uh, that's why I usually use this as like a road trip bag to just carry everything for my family. So I can like just can carry it or, you know, briefly carry it on my shoulder to, you know, go in and out of the hotel and to and from the car. Okay, this is the, the bucket bag. And I feel like it, it might just be a little bit lighter. So let's see. Yeah, a little under two pounds. One pound, 14 ounce, fourteen point four ounces. And let's see if this will work if I just... Yeah, it looks like I need to do this again. And for those that need the kg weight, the same bag, 0.87 kilograms. So that's the weight of the bucket bag. A little bit lighter, but still to me, a little, a little on the heavy side. Uh, but I would say manageable. Like if I had a lot of things, I would carry this. I, I used to carry this a lot um, when I had more stuff to, to bring. Like when my kids were younger and I had to, you know, bring toys, snacks, diapers, and things like that. I, I, I sometimes I use this as like um, a diaper bag. So let's weigh the last bag, the smaller one. I'm just removing things from the bag right now. So it's empty. Just to give you that detail, I'm gonna put the strap inside. And this bag is very, very comfortable. Um, I, like I said, I use this so much that I loved it so much, I decided to get the other two. So again, this is empty. So it's uh, only 14.4 ounces, so under a pound. And for a, a, a leather, com almost completely leather bag like this, with such good construction, the, the leather is very, very thick. Uh, you, can, you can just see from here, right? It's very thick. And in terms of kilograms, it's 0.42 kilograms. So I hope this is helpful. Um, and I have to say the quality of this leather is just amazing. So if you're interested in it to get something like this, I'm pretty sure this was 149 years. Don't quote me on that. But again, this was in 2014. If you are interested, try to contact this store through email. And they, I think they still make the bags. Just for some reason, it's not on their website. You might be able to get it. And I uh, actually, I paid an extra well i had to pay shipping on these items of course for the two bigger bags that came to me so it was 45 euros at that time 2016. um they it was originally 40 euros but they said to i can add five euros for insurance and i've never ordered anything directly from 
Italy like this so I just paid the extra five euros to have it insured but you can see like look the size of these bags right if you add these two bags together and weight wise it's pretty heavy and it's pretty big it came without it, it a problem it was beautifully packaged and I've been enjoying these bags since so, so these days bigger bags are coming back into style and maybe I'll you know be able to bring bring it out and use this more often now uh, the weight is a bit of an issue but it, it is what it is because of the leather and, and, and the construction of it. So if you have any questions about the, the these items, please let me know. I'm happy to answer them. I hope you found this helpful and just something else for you to consider other than luxury bags. Uh, have a wonderful rest of your day. I hope you stay happy and healthy. And until next time, thank you. Bye.